Yo, what's up you guys? Pluto here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on 3D motion tracking in After Effects, Cinema 4D, and Buju. And this is what I'll be showing you. See the picture there? Motion tracks. So shit, let's get started. Alright, first you want to open up After Effects, you want to get the clip you want to motion track, and drag it in, then you make a new comp, and you just go to the part, alright, then you just want to get the clip, make it high quality, make it to like wherever you want to motion track it, cut it however you want it. So you go to file, export, add the render queue. Then you want to click on the output module that says loose lossless. You click that. Then you go to format, click it, and go to JPEG sequence. Change the quality up to nine and press OK. Press OK again. Then go to output two, click that, and save it where you want to save it. I already have my clips, I already have my JPEG rented out, so I don't have a, uh, you know, I have to do that to save time, so you can pause the video anytime you want, continue when you get done. Now, you want to open up Buju. Hmm. I'll pause the video for one second while I try to fix Buju real quick. Okay guys, I'm back and I got it working. Okay, so this is what Bluetooth looks like when you first open it up. So now you want to go to import sequence. Go to wherever you saved your file at. Let's see if I found my stuff. New folder. Yes. Then you want to click apply and close. Okay, now you want to go to this sidebar that said and click on the feature that says track features. Then you want to make sure it's on all frames. Then click start. So it's basically going to take a while to track all these frames, and uh, I will pause the video until it gets done. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and it's done uh, tracking the features. And once it's done, you should get a whole bunch of red uh, plus signs or crosses with yellow lines. This is usual. So now you want to go to the sidebar again, hit camera solve, and then you want to come down to advanced solve refinement, click on the second option, optimize camera pass smoothness, and then press start again. And this is going to take a while again, so I'm going to pause the video and again, and once it's done, I'll play it. Okay guys, it's done, and now you should have a screen full of blue and yellow dots. Now we're going to place where you want the text to be and make the plane. So either you can start from the middle of the clip or towards the end. So I'm gonna start somewhere in the middle. You click scene geometry and you want to click on the button add coordinate from hint. And now you want to go to like one dot that's in the middle. This is going to be for your origin. So you want to choose one dot that's in the middle of the video. Click the dot. It'll show it uh, when you click. Oh, can talk. When you click the dot, it will show up green. It knows you have it selected. You press connect to select. Then go down here again. Add corner from hint. But this time you change the type to x axis. Now you want to select two points. On from the left to right. So you go to one point from the left, and then to, to, select, to select the second point, you gotta hold down control and click on the other point. And then press connect to select it again. And now you want to repeat step one more time at corner from hint, but this time you change it to Z axis. And this is for the depth of your text. So you want to go at, like this is for vertical. So you go. I choose this point right here, then go up a little bit. 
choose that point right, of, right in front of it. Press connect to select it. Press update quarter frames a few times. Then close it. Then I'm going to go to add text object to see if you got the text wherever you want it. On my motion track, I, I got it how I want it. It's, since mine is like a different motion track, it's not going to be uh, completely flat. It's kind of slanted. But if you want for your text to be uh, like when you motion track it, you want to try to get this, the text audit to be flat as possible. So it will take a few times to get this uh, right. But this is good for now for me. So now since we got this done, go to export up top. Export camera solve. This is a must. You change the export type to Cinema 4D first. And then you come down to scale scene by and you change it to 100. And you save it wherever you want to save it at. Let's save it to my desktop. Okay, okay, okay. Put that life. And now you click save. And there you go. You save it. Now it's time to open up Cinema 4D and get started. But yeah. The more time you take and get the motion tracks right, the better it'll come out. But since it's a tutorial, I'm gonna try to make it quick and easy and just show you all the basics. So now we have Cinema 40 up, scales 10, that's right. Now press OK. Now you see a whole bunch of black dots. Don't worry, this is how it's supposed to be. You wanna come up to this plain looking thing that says floor. You can click and hold and you scroll down to it says background. That's the background right there. And you want to come into this empty box down here. It's a material box. You double click it. Then you double click it again. Go to texture. Click on the arrow. You load image. And you go to wherever you save the files where you rendered out in After Effects, the clips, JPEG sequence. So let's see if I can find it. Click on the first one. This is 0000. This is important. If it says this image is not project search file, click no. Then you click on this file name right in the center. Go over to animation and calculate. Now you exit out. Okay, so now you want to drag the map, the material you just made, onto your background. And you see this here? This is your background. Okay, now it's time to get in the motion tracking part, the fun shit. Excuse my language. You go up top in mode graph, you get the mode text, and you see it'll pop up, it'll, it should pop up right here. Alright, perfect. See if I scroll through, it's nice and motion tracks. We're gonna fix this bad boy up. Alright. Now. Okay. Okay, now you want to go to your text bar, you know what I'm saying? Just put any text you want. So I'm going to grab a uh, robo board since this is a pretty cool text. I want to check this out further so the man diving doesn't you know, run into it. Alright, now you see depth right here. Uh, change it to whatever you like. I like to choose 110. That's my depth. It's pretty cool. You know, it's pretty. All right, let me rotate this up so you can see this a little bit. Rotate this out. Change the text to Pluto Touch. I love this text, by the way. This font. All right. So now you see it's nice and motion tracked. <clears throat> now it's time to put the materials on here. I have my own. Uh, Lightroom and materials packs. I will put it in download in the description for you to download. So all you do press Control A, Control C to copy it. And close this down and paste it onto here. All right, now you got all the materials out here. Um, I like. Let's see which one I pretty much like the most. There's a lot of sexy ass materials, so it's hard to choose from. I choose this one. Black 
Meadow. Nah, that's not what right. Let's see, Motes. Okay, this one looks pretty cool. Uh, it's the Red Rust. Okay, but yeah, that's pretty much all for motion tracking. I mean, it's pretty much that simple. On all, all thing you have to do in Cinema uh, Cinema 4D, this is just the basics. I will come out another tutorial with uh, all the advanced stuff, the shadows, cameras, lights, you know. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'll show you all my render settings. Go to this button here, edit render sa settings, save. Your format is AVI movie, and you save it wherever you want right here. Go to output, make sure this frame range, make sure it's important. Frame range is all frames. Okay, and this button here, you add all your effects. Ambient occlusion, this is all the effects right here. Okay. Then you just press the middle button to render out. But yeah, you guys, this concludes uh, Pluto Tuts with 3D motion tracking. If this helped you out, leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing uh, Tuts weekly from now on. And, uh, just post in the comment section whatever touch you want me to use or whatever you want me to do a tutorial on any effects. Just holler at me, you know. Holler at your boy Pluto. Alright, you guys. I'm out. I love y'all.